Peeves here, bringing you episode 2 of The Walking Dead game. If you have not seen episode 1, then I would highly suggest you go watch it, or you're not going to know what the fuck's going on. Well, unless you've played this and you have the gist of it, but... Decisions always change, mattering on... Well, the outcome always changes, mattering on the decisions you make. So, I would suggest watching the other video, um, the Walking Dead episode 1 that I did, and then coming back to watch this again. If not, welcome Heave and Heebets. This is part two. Um, well, episode two. Let's uh, get this started. Alright, we're going to uh, continue this right here. <laughs> New day and start for help. Oh, uh, you can skip if you want, but we're going to go for, to start for help. This is the next one. This is a couple weeks later, I believe. But when people start talking, I will be quiet. But um, one of the things I was talking about last time season two of this game, uh, Telltale has, uh, announced that it's, um, releasing season two of the, uh, this game in, um, in, uh, fall, which is usually when all the good stuff comes out, along with the Xbox One and Call of Duty Ghost, which I'm highly looking forward to, and, um, I'm actually getting a job just so that I can, uh, purchase that. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. Let's listen to this. I know who you are. I know who you are too, bitch. I got another Fucking good try. one for you. Alright, so if you haven't seen last episode, you can probably just watch this and catch up, actually. But I still suggest watching it. Yeah. All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Alright, here we go. So I'm guessing you, you don't want to, you don't have to watch the last episode, but remember you can watch all the details of it and what's what. <coughs> Alright, let's get this shit started. I'm guessing it's like fall. In association with Scott Bound Entertainment. <laughs> oh, damn, it's been three months. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <coughs> damn. <laughs> What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. <laughs> I and still can't believe we went through lost. all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. <laughs> uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. <laughs> When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us <laughs> some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? 
Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Probably because I'm black. The only black guy. <laughs> yeah, he's an old racist asshole. He's just asshole. an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, <laughs> he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! Oh, you suck. Shit. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. She 
But she looks like she's like 90 years old now. <laughs> Freaking moisten I got. In World War Two. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh my on! God. What happened? What the hell? What's going on? We have time to explain. Hey, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us! How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, <laughs> Billy. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, you. No? Yeah, Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader <laughs> of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Uh, I kind of want to just shoot him in his freaking face. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. <coughs> Obviously, I'm gonna feed the churron first. Half an apple for the whole day, that sucks. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. 
I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. <laughs> Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> uh, I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we get some food? Oh, you greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. <laughs> Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, fuck you, Lily. You and your dad need to go fucking die. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. <laughs> hey. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Lily, I, uh... I see how it is, Lee. Talk to you later, okay? Oh, she's grumpy. We should talk about you and Kenny. Let's just talk what about us? The argument. It's getting need. pretty out of hand. You know <clears throat> people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. <laughs> Keep an eye out. Fine. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. <laughs> thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just three months ago. hold on to it then? <laughs> yeah, if that's okay, 
I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine... I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? <laughs> I'm not sure. I hope he will. Oh, well, you know. Oh, doctor. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Hey, Ben. I hope you understand why I didn't give you any food. I'm new. I get it. It's fine, Lee, really. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. <laughs> How you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Doug. Bye, Lee. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Fuck you, Sandwich. The fuck you, say? Fuck you well. I'll throw you the hands real, real quick. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. What should we do about the kid? If it were up to me, I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But that's up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, I don't want to get on her bad side. Back in a bit. <laughs> Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us 